which mm-hmm. brings us to Coinbase, because, yes, those shares have also nearly tripled in the past year thanks to that run up. But it's still well off its all time highs back in 2021. And yes, Coinbase is well off its high over four hundred and twenty dollars. It is now pulled back over 50 percent, now trading around two hundred bucks. But what is going on with Coinbase's secret weapon? Because they just released their earnings report. And I dove through this, folks. If you didn't know, I went to college for accounting. And I felt like I was back in university here. I dove through their earnings report, which just released yesterday. And there's an altcoin gem that might be the best coin for all of 2025. And it's explained in this report what exactly makes it so bullish. Now, uh, we're going to dive into this report in a second, but I have a nice graphic for Coinbase's earnings report that they just had. Now, we're going to be talking about a base ecosystem play. And if you didn't know, base is the number one L2 in all of crypto, and its transactions has increased 55% quarter over quarter, and the smart contracts deployed on the chain has doubled quarter over quarter. So we're seeing fantastic news when it comes to base. Now, we're on DeFi Llama looking at all chains. This is total value value locked and all chains and base is a top five play and the coin we're talking about coinbase's secret weapon is the number one protocol on the number five chain here and if we go to base Yes, of course. Some of you have already guessed it. We are talking about Aerodrome, of course. Now, you can see the token price has been on some pretty wild runs, but the price was higher back in April when the total value locked was lower. This red line you're seeing is the amount of money locked up in the DeFi ecosystem called Aerodrome. The purple line is the token price. So the token price is actually down while the total value locked is soaring. And I'm reading your mind before you even say, well, what about the market cap? If you look at the market, cap we are at you know a a little bit higher period we are with the market cap but the tvl and the market cap stayed in line and now you can see tvl exceeding market cap and i think the market cap is going to catch up on this token this token's about to have a wonderful run-up now i said i poured through their financial report so you don't have to and i found this buried on page four It's talking about how Coinbase is in trouble, but there is a shining light, a beacon of hope buried within these financials because there's a lot of bad news here. You got transaction revenue down 27% quarter over quarter. You have trading volume down 8% quarter over quarter. But what's the good news? The good news came from a sector that had a little bit of outperformance. You can see here, we saw relative outperformance in our institutional derivatives offerings in Q3. Well, what the heck does that mean? Institutional derivative offering? Well, in DeFi, derivative protocols calls are platforms that enable the creation and trading of derivatives, aka a DeFi protocol. But besides Coinbase launching base ecosystem and Aerodrome is on base, well, what is the connection here? Well, you might not know, Coinbase is a deep, deep investor in Aerodrome. Uh, Now, Coinbase Ventures is their venture arm in which they invest in projects, and then Coinbase Ventures invested heavily in Aerodrome. Now, it's an undisclosed position, so we don't know exactly how much money they poured into this ecosystem, but we know they're the major player when it comes to Aerodrome. Now, Aerodrome has just been on a tear lately. You can see the swap fees have been increasing steadily and you can also see the volume has also been increasing steadily and so while the price is depressed slightly you can see here when it comes to volume when it comes to swap fees we are at all-time highs while the price is not at all-time highs and the price will catch up Now, you might be asking, okay, so they went ahead, they invested money. Are they going to continue to support Aerodrome? Well, if we go back into the report here, buried a little bit further down, you'll see they talk about derivatives a little bit further. And in the report, they're spelling out, they're going to focus on increasing Aerodrome customers. Now, they don't say it that way. The way they say it is increasing derivative users is a key area of focus, as we've seen derivative traders also tend to engage more with spot products as well. And so Coinbase is going to be making a concerted effort and pushing more users into the Aerodrome ecosystem. Now, again, they're not saying Aerodrome in this report, but when they're talking about derivatives and they're talking about the derivatives offerings, they're 100% alluding to Coinbase Ventures and Aerodrome. And so when they say derivatives exposure is going to increase, you must assume Aerodrome Finance is going to be a big winner from this. Well, folks, that leaves us with two questions. One, Coinbase likes this token, but why should the users like this token? And also, what does the price action tell us? Well, the users are going to like this token because they get all the fees, everybody. Aerodrome broke another record. They collected four and a half million dollars in fees. This is the highest amount of fees they've ever got. And 100% of the swap fees are distributed to the holders. 
so when you see v era holders that are people participating in the staking that is participating in their DeFi products and they want to get coins from all ecosystems and now volume is going supersonic more and more users are learning oh wait i can actually earn money holding and staking my arrow and participating in their DeFi ecosystem but what about the second question? What about the price action here? So we know the holders like it. We know Coinbase likes it. Investors seem to like it. The quarterly financials also says this is a great hold. What do the charts tell us? Well, folks, we're going to use good old Fibonacci extensions tools. We're going to go from the swing high to the candle body close down here. And folks, once again, it seems like this thing is playing out pretty well. Now you can see here, you know, came back down, tested this uh, 2618 came back up, tested the 382, then came back down, knocked around on the bottom for a bit. Then you can see we got rejected at the 382, and you can see we also got rejected at the 0.5 here, and right now, we're kind of fighting with the 382. So, so if Bitcoin does poorly over the next few weeks, I do expect Aerodrome to peel back to around 94 cents. It's gonna, this is gonna be a great opportunity to accumulate more, but if Bitcoin continues to rise and altcoins continue to follow along with it, I think Aerodrome has a pretty quick shot to a dollar 44. This is pretty much where we wicked up to in the middle of October. What about the next level after price discovery? I think after we break the 786 all the way up here, I think we're coming to the $2.38 level. And so I think there's a lot of room for arrow to the upside. If we were to measure that move, you're looking at essentially doubling your money. That is a 96% pump from here. So the charts do like Aerodrome as long as Bitcoin can hold on. Can Bitcoin hold on to these levels? If not, I think all altcoins are going to have a little bit of some pain ahead of it. So that's all I got for you today. I would not sleep on Aerodrome. I think it is the best coin in the base ecosystem. And I think the base ecosystem is going to be one of the best, if not the best L2 moving forward. A lot of attention. Coinbase Ventures got a lot of money and they're focusing a lot of their efforts into increasing users and increasing exposure for Aerodrome indirectly through promoting the base ecosystem. So I'm a huge fan of Aerodrome. Hopefully I'll see you and your base DeFi bags at the top.